Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in quarantine while filming this, which I'm assuming is very relatable right now. It's what most people are doing, or at least from what I can tell, that's what most people all over the world are doing right now. So today I actually wanted to do a video on how to style sweats five different ways because obviously a lot of us are at home right now. We're wearing a lot of sweats. And aside from that, I actually wanted to do this video before that because I just love sweats as I'm sure many of you can relate to. So I'm just gonna share a few of my favorite ways to style them and there's some good variety in here and some really good styling tips. So I hope you guys will like it. If you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch all of my future videos and also if you give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you like it in the comments below it is so helpful so other than that I'm ready to start the video okay so the first way that I'm gonna share for styling sweats wow this is actually really heavy is just a monochromatic look so here I have a sweatsuit it's just like a nice nude color which is one of my favorite colors to wear so i obviously have a lot of sweats that are this color and then to make it monochromatic i just paired it with like a little trench coat over that is in the same color family it's not the exact same color but that works and then i just paired it with like a brown neutral purse it has a little bit of green in it but so do the undertones of this color so that works and then i'll also be styling that look with just a pair of air force ones because these go with absolutely everything and they are so good for sweats and then a pair of socks that kind of matches the colors as well so I would say for this monochromatic styling of sweats it's very classic and it's kind of the go-to for sweatsuits the two pieces match and then you can just layer on another coat or a scrunchie sneakers anything that kind of like goes with that colorway and it just makes like a nice seamless look that you can really use in a bunch of different colors so like I mentioned I did sort of like a beige tan color but it goes good with blacks grays whites a color anything and it's super easy to do so that's probably one of my absolute go-to looks for sweats um, because it's so simple and it can be done in so many different varieties so i love the monochromatic sweat look and i hope you guys do too also i will note i get them in a couple of different sizes just because with sweats you can be more lenient like that so this pair is a medium and then i think this is the same sweatsuit in a different color that i'm going to show you guys next these are a small, so it's kind of flexible with the sizing, so just keep that in mind for sweats, I would say. The next styling of the sweats is gonna be a fun pop of color, so this is similar to the monochromatic because this is also all one color, but I did wanna point out that something fun to do with sweats is add in like a bright, fun, flirty color. So here I just have like a baby pink set, but I also love a lavender set, a yellow set, blue, green, pretty much everything. I wouldn't really own like a red sweatsuit at this point in my life, but you know, that could change eventually or orange. I might not go for orange, but pretty much any color is cool. Do your thing. And for this, you can also mix and match the shades of the color. So you could do like a lighter pink bottom and a darker pink top, et cetera, et cetera. Or you could even mix and match like a blue top and pink bottom, something like that. Just like fun and colorful, I feel like is a good way to spice up sweats. And then since this look is pretty simple, I don't have any layers or anything to go over it. I'm just gonna do like a chunky chain because I feel like that goes with the street style look and it adds a little bit of flair. And then as I mentioned, having like little accessories that go along with it is also really fun. So I do have a pink scrunchie that I'm gonna go ahead and pair with these. So like anything like that, that you can just sort of throw in, even your makeup could be really fun to play with the color on the sweats. For a purse, I'm just gonna keep it like light and neutral. So this kind of goes with those and it's like a casual everyday purse. So going for something like that, backpack or fanny pack is also really good for sweats. And then for shoes, I don't have pink socks, but if I did, that would be so cute to go with that. So I should probably invest in some colorful socks. I'll just wear white socks with that for now. And then I have this pair of Air Force Ones. This is a shadow pair and it has some like pink pastel 
colors in it. It's not, they're not super pink, but it still brings it out and it's kind of fun. So I would say just pairing this with a pair of sneakers that's either like really neutral, so it just goes with the colors or that brings out the pop of color would be really cute. The next style is something that I've also loved for so long and I think it's such a classic way to style sweats. So it's kind of an edgy moto styling of sweats. Basically the easiest way I find to do that is just throw a leather or faux leather jacket over a pair of sweats, a sweatsuit, a sweatshirt, anything like that. And it just makes it so edgy and cool and they layer so nicely together. They really work well. It's just a cool street style look and I love edgy fashion. So this is totally up my alley. For this, I am using this Playboy hoodie. It's like an oversized, I think I got this. I cannot find the size on this hoodie, but I got it pretty big. I want to say like a US six or eight maybe, but I, I just like these oversized. I actually share them with Clayton, my boyfriend. So we get them big enough that it's like huge on me and still pretty big on him. Then I just threw over this Pistola faux leather jacket, which I don't think is available anymore, but I'll link everything I can find in the description box per usual. And then I'm just pairing it with black sweats. You could also do white sweats to match the sweatshirt, but I kind of liked having black, white, and then black. This is just like a very edgy street style look. So I paired it with this crossbody from Prada, which I think suits this style really well. Something that's great about this is, this is great for layering in the colder months, or if you're visiting somewhere that's cold, obviously you can't visit anywhere right now because we're in quarantine, but <laughs> that's like really nice layering and it will really keep you warm. Also, if it is a, more of a transitional period, maybe like spring or a cooler night in summer or fall. You can also wear just like a crop top with your sweats and still put on the leather jacket and it's basically the same look, just a little bit different and I love that. So with that style, I went with my platform Converse. I was gonna do more of like a traditional sneaker, like a Nike or something, but I just love Converse so much and these platform ones are my absolute favorite. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know. I felt like they went with the edgy sort of like punkish vibe a little bit better. So that's why I went with Converse. The next way that I'm gonna style the sweats is something that me and Clayton do all the time and we call it chic sweats. So to be honest, like I always wanna be wearing sweats. It's my preferred clothing to be in pretty much at all times, but sometimes I have to dress up or sometimes I feel like dressing up, but I would still love to be wearing sweats. So that's where chic sweats comes in and we just basically elevate our sweats and make them look nicer. There's a bunch of different ways that you can do this, but for the style I'm gonna show you guys today, I did a classic trick that I like. So I'm a huge fan of blazers as well and any sort of like menswear. So I am just pairing this like oversized bulky fitting blazer with a pair of gray sweats and a little white crop top. And it totally makes it an elevated street style, still comfy look, but definitely more dressed up than a traditional sweats look, I would say. I also threw in a watch. This is one of my movement watches, which I love. The rectangular face is probably my favorite, and it just kind of goes with like the sleek look. So this is a really easy way to style sweats actually and make them look a lot nicer. And then with the chic sweats, a part of the trick for chic sweats, if you're not actually like running a bunch of errands or something, like if you're trying to dress them up for an event or a dinner or a photo shoot or something like that. I like to pair them with heels actually. So I usually do like a strappy black heel, but like a low heel, but I went with pumps today because it was kind of business casual with the blazer and I was just feeling it. If you are gonna be doing chic sweats, but you're traveling and you're walking a lot or you're on the go or something and you don't wanna wear heels, you can still dress them up with sneakers or flats or booties or something, I feel like. Um, and then also to add to that look, I have this little clutch. This is from Zara and I feel like this piece is just so chic and cool and sleek. So obviously it fit with that vibe and that is pretty much everything I picked for that look. All right. The last way I'm gonna show you guys is something that I wear all the time. I am basically wearing it right now and it is a perfect quarantine outfit, which I've been obviously utilizing a lot. So basically just styling sweats in like a classic oversized comfy way, but still making it cute and 
socially acceptable, at least by my standards. So I have this white pair of sweats here from Storettes, and I actually love white sweats. They go with so many things, um, as long as you can keep them clean. And then I have this oversized graphic sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters that I am in love with. And it's basically just the idea of wearing sweats with something oversized and baggy and super comfy, but styling around it so it still looks cute and presentable. So same idea, I have sweats on today and like a huge graphic tee, but since I like did my hair and my makeup and have a little bit of jewelry on, I feel like it works. So with this particular outfit, I am going to actually pair it with a hat. I love just like styling sweats with a baseball cap. It's super fitting with the clothes. And also if you don't wanna do your makeup or you're having a really bad hair day, this comes in handy. And then I am also gonna style it with my Air Jordan. So I recently got these. They're really hard to get your hands on. They're sold out everywhere. You have to buy them on resale sites. So it's kind of a pain and they are quite expensive, but I will link them for you guys because I think they're so worth it and I am in love with them. Like these are my favorite street style shoes. So I am gonna pair these with that look to make it a little more put together and like I'm trying a little bit harder. I think these definitely help with that. And then I'm also going to pair it with this like tote bag. So. I will try to link this for you guys. It sells out so fast every time it comes back into stock. But basically, this is just like my go-to everyday bag. It's great for travel. It's great for the gym. It fits so much and it's also really cute. And with the black hat, the black shoes, and the black bag, it ties it all together and makes it look very presentable. So that is it for this video. Again, if you guys like this, it is so helpful for me if you give it a thumbs up and if you comment below and let me know. Also, if you have any other video requests that you would like to see, you can always drop them in the comments and I will add them to my list. I love doing the videos that you guys request. That's pretty much it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I'm sending you guys lots of love.